Good morning, my name is Dave Hagee and this morning we're going to talk a little bit about our sieve and chaffer area of our John Deere combine. On our inspections we want to try to go out there and look at a few things just to look at as red flags, uh, damaged uh, chaffers, we'll get into that in a little bit, uh, worn chaffers, worn sieves for instance. It consists of a wire all the way across and when you take them apart what happens to us is we're finding wear on these wires. When a wire shakes then that gives us a tough time. It's not solid or staying solid enough to where now our corn or our soybean our oats can get its best chance to get a clean sample. So we're going to start with the chaffer first. The idea behind a chaffer is to take the bulk of our crop and dispense it or move it on the, the kernel other than the kernel and our uh, bean, kernel for corn, soybean, uh, oats, the whole thing. That needs to go down into our sieve and of course the rest of it needs to go be carried out and into our chopper. So what I like to do out there is I like to check again real important on the chaffer for bent fins, uh, missing fins. Uh, the wires will back up a little bit, the wires will break and then we can have missing fins. And so we know these chaffers and sieves today can be replaced by just replacing the wire or uh, the fin itself that's missing. We don't have to replace the complete sieve like the old ones. So the chaffer itself what I suggest as a tech is pretty much go by the book. Um, these newer combines have a automatic system and you can set it to corn and it'll preset to its dimension. Uh, real nice attachment and then from there on we just I leave it to the book. Uh, very seldom do I go and adjust in that area. The lower sieve is meant for my crop up in the grain tank and a dirty sample, a uh, busted up cob, if we're having a tough time thrashing cob, we've all seen it, and pieces of cob will go into the grain tank. So what we'll do there, the lower sieve gives me the grain sample up in the grain tank. So for that example, I suggest to the customer to close the sieve a little bit, and I say a little bit. A little can go a long ways, and these are digit numbers. So one or two numbers is plenty until you're happy with the sample. And the reason why is if you close that sieve too much, you'll overload my tailings auger. And then we're going to add more problems. So one step at a time, and again, numbers at a time, they go one at a time, will help. The lower sieve is going to be the same thing. I go in there and I look for, like I said earlier, uh, worn wires, holes in the chaffer, missing fins, and all pieces, again, guys, are, are replaceable. And so the only adjustment in the cab is what I'm trying to get across is to get a good sample up in the tank, it would be my sieve. Uh, you'll have inspections. You, you got inspection covers on the side to be able to see there. On the newer combines, you have nice lights to be able to look in there and see how, what things are going, or how things are going. Another real important adjustment on these, the later the combines, we have got a lever here and what it is is a trap door. All we're doing is adjusting a trap door from open to closed. The gap, the gap and I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. If we're running 40 feet of soybeans, 30 feet of wheat, straw, we have a lot of material to get into my chopper. So this door or this gate, you're opening the gate to make that or let that uh, material get into my chopper. Okay, now what happens there then now we go to corn our corn doesn't have as much material but what happens to me there is the cob will get carried up over the top of the chopper and come up over the top and damage my chaffer okay so that's how important this door is all that trap door does is corn is you'll close the door and now it protects my chaffer so when we're running these combines, guys, make sure that this adjustment's happening. Again, it's not on every John Deere combine STS, okay? It's on our later ones, models. So make sure we're adjusting that, real important. Uh, and as uh, again, uh, that's pretty much the chaffer and sieve. We wanna make sure what's running or holding our chaffer frames. They're consisting of rubber bushings on the side of the combine. Let's make sure that all that's good and solid. Make sure our sieves are running square because if it's not running square on the rubber bushings, we wanna watch them during our inspections. It's gonna start running at a twist action. And then again, it'll damage a frame. And there 
If it hurts the frame of the chaffer, then we're considering or we might have to replace the whole thing. Thank you.